April, I believe, 14th. And Taylor, you can fact check me on that. The new Nicolas Cage movie Renfield comes out with uh, Nicholas Holt starring as the title character Renfield and Nicholas Cage plays Dracula. Now, look, I will admit the first time I heard the concept for this thing, I'm like, really? Nicholas Cage is Dracula, huh? Okay, sure. I love Nicholas Holt. He's a great actor. I, Nick Cage is a great actor. And then when I saw the first trailer for it, I just instantly was in love with it. And I'm like, sign me up. Well, the new trailer for Renfield has dropped and what they are calling the final trailer has now dropped online and it's even better than the first trailer. <laughs> I mean, that first trailer got me completely on board. I did not know how I was going to respond as a fan, as a movie watcher to seeing Nick Cage doing, I'm Dracula. Like I, I didn't know how I would respond, but I responded very well. And then in this trailer, they give us even more of him. And you know what I didn't realize? Um, uh, the voice on the hedgehog, Schwartz. Uh, oh, Ben Schwartz. Ben Schwartz. That's right. Ben Schwartz. I didn't realize Ben Schwartz was in this movie. Me either. I don't know how I forgot that, but to Ben Schwartz, and I love Ben Schwartz. So he'll always be John Ralphio to me. I don't care how. I don't. He can win three Academy Awards doing different movies. Ben Schwartz will always be John Ralphio to me. Anyway, that being said, I think the trailer was great. I think the action looks like it's fantastic. And I just remember thinking, like, like, how is this movie looking this good? Could it possibly be this good? And I love Aquafina. Like, I, I, I used to kind of roll my eyes at Aquafina, and then she did that movie. What was the actual title? The Goodbye or oh, the Farewell? The Farewell. Thank you. She did that movie, The Farewell, and that movie completely made me do a one eighty on Aquafina, because, like, have whatever feelings you want. She acted the hell out of that movie. She was awesome. She brought emotionality. She brought humor. It, she was fabulous in that. And then, of course, I loved her in Shang-Chi. So I think it's going to be fun to see her in this. But when I sat down then and really started looking over the people behind Renfield, the people who made Renfield, then I'm like, oh, well, that's why this thing looks so good. I mean, look at this lineup. So first of all, directing the film, you got Chris McKay, who did the Lego Batman movie, which might be the greatest Batman movie ever made. <laughs> I, mean, I, I mean, obviously it's not as good as The Dark Knight, but the Lego Batman movie, I think is actually better than the Lego movie. It is. It's amazing. If you have not seen this Lego Batman movie, you absolutely must. It's fantastic. And then I really like, I actually really ended up enjoying that Chris Pratt, The Tomorrow War movie they did. Now, he was also the director he was on board. If you're wondering if you recognize his name, he was on board for a while. He was supposed to direct a Nightwing movie before it got axed. Now, technically speaking, it's never been officially said that it got axed. I don't think it's actually still happening, but he was attached for like over a year to direct a Nightwing movie. And I'm not, I'm not sure what the status of it is, but he was also attached. I don't know if he still is to a movie. I was really, really interested in. They were doing a Johnny quest movie. Remember the old cartoon? Yeah. He, he was attached to do a live action version of Johnny Quest, which I personally would love to see. So anyway, he's terrific. I love Chris McKay. And then when you get into the writers, you got Ryan Ridley, who was one of the writers on Community, which is really funny. But more importantly for me, he is one of the writers on Invincible, which I really like Invincible a lot. And then, of course, also writing this movie is Robert Kirkman, who is the you know, the big granddaddy of everything Walking Dead. Like everything that's Walking Dead, that's him, but he's also one of the writers on Invincible. So you get Chris McKay directing on a script by Ryan Ridley and Robert Kirkman. I mean, this thing clearly carries with it a lot of potential. So, I mean, I'm very stoked. Now, somehow, some way, Taylor gets his name on like every super secret fan screening <laughs> list ever. Uh -huh. Have you seen Renfield? No. I I'm haven't. shocked that you <laughs> haven't know. seen it. I'm dying to see this movie, though. They also, this morning, released, it's about a minute and 10 seconds, a featurette on Bloody Disgusting's website. It's good. It just shows some quick interviews with Aquafina, Ben Schwartz, uh, Nicholas Holt, Nick Cage. They talk about how it's going to be very bloody, very gory, very violent, the comedy, and then how when you're laughing, right when you're laughing, they're going to just... Not is it R-rated? 
Yes. I mean, so, okay, I didn't know if it was actually R-rated, but it mm-hmm. sounds like it's R-rated. So, all right, guys, question is for you. What do you think about this? Have you seen the new trailer, the final trailer for Renfield? Are you looking forward to this? Maybe you're like I was a while ago and going, Nicholas Cage is Dracula? I mean, really? I, I, maybe that's how you're feeling. I did at one point. Whatever you guys are thinking, jump down into the comments section below and let us know your thoughts. Guys, we want to thank a sponsor of this video, Rocket Money. The average person has around 12 paid subscriptions. Think about that. If you think you're only subscribed to a handful of services, you might want to double check. With Rocket Money, you can quickly identify and cancel all of your unwanted subscriptions. Rocket Money, formerly known as Truebill, is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitor your spending, and helps you lower your bills all in one place. Rocket Money will quickly and easily identify your subscriptions for you so you can stop paying for the ones you don't want and don't even use. Simply find the subscription you don't want and press cancel and Rocket Money will cancel it for you. No more long hold times with customer service or tedious emailing back and forth. Rocket Money makes canceling subscriptions as easy as the click of a button. My wife Ann and I moved out of Burbank two years ago and one of the first things I discovered when I loaded up Rocket Money was that I was still paying for a gym membership I haven't even been to in Burbank in two years. So stop throwing away your money. Cancel unwanted subscriptions and manage your expenses the easy way by going to Rocket rocketmoney.com slash campia that's rocketmoney.com slash campia rocketmoney.com slash campia